Zaila. Then came Harmonia, Lord Garganta, followed by She's Needs a Queen of Party Bell. Praise indeed Sultan City and Astro Boy didn't live up to the hopes of its supporters and there were numerous. It finished last. Nine Edward Bray to pay 10 10 and 3 even. Four Lucy's Way $2.70 and 10 Reasons three seventy. Okay, dark. Gee, Astro Boy went ordinarily. Winner of race seven today is Edward Bray. Gee, he's an improved horse, this fella. Number nine, Edward Bray. Gary Matthews for Kembler trainer Deborah Walters. And in New South Wales has paid $9.90 and $3.10. Number four is second, and that is Lucy's Way, written by Len Beasley, has paid $3.10. And Reasons has run third. Number 10, written by Brad Pengelly, has paid $3.80. More for me in a moment. Racing. racing now, and they've jumped away in a perfect line. Brave Chief straight to the lead, as we would expect, over on the outside, working up as Napier Street. Crossing over to the back of the field as Starletta was Brave Chief leads down to the judges' box in second placing Sergris. Wide out Sly Sandra defence force, the deepest runner Napier Street. Cage side Cannibal going up on the inside with Manawa Nui. Further back then as they leave the straight was Kabila Catwoman around it. Old Tawny creeping up on the inside, got a beautiful rails run to go up behind the leaders, then two and a half back behind those for Sato. In front of it is brilliant poet Starletta and last of all is sweet Lady Bird. 1400 metres out and the leader Brave Chief bowling along two lengths in front, Sergra second, third placing Manawanui on the outside of Caveside Cannibal, caught out very deep is Defence Force, even wider Napier Street with Kabila Sly Sandra, and over on the inside Old Tawny, they've broken away four in front of Catwoman, then comes Brilliant Poet and the inside Starletto last of all is Fasado, and just in front of it is Sweet Lady Bird, who's got to be a dozen lengths off the lead, heading to the thousand, the leader Brave Chief, just over a length in front of Sergris, two lengths Defence Force Caveside Cannibal and Manawanui a line of three, a line of four Next, Napier Street, Sly Sandra, Kabila, and on the inside, Old Tawny. Two and a half, then comes Brilliant Poet getting around Catwoman, followed by Starletto, Sweet Ladybird. And still last of all is Fasado, a dozen off the lead. 700 out, and Brave Chief in his favourite role, bowling here by two to Circus, is off the bit at the moment. Four away, then Defence Force, Caveside, Cannibal battling away. Then Sly Sandra, further back, Manawanui losing ground, Kabila. Old Tawny over on the fence, and then comes Brilliant Poet, but Brave Chief gave them the slip coming up to the turn. 400 metres. Out here, six in front, seven in front now of Sergris, then Defence Force. Sly Sandra battling away, brilliant poet on the inside, cave side Cannibal. Then Fasado, who's a mile back but making ground, and then Old Tawny. But this is a one act affair on the corner at the 200. Brave Chief is eight in front of Sergris, Defence Force, brilliant poet, and then Fasado. But this is going to absolutely bolt in Brave Chief. He's eight in front. Uh, getting to second on the outside for Sato, and with it there is uh, Defence Force and Kabila home on the inside, but Brave Chief walks in. Brave Chief scores by eight lengths Kabila, Defence Force third in a photo with Kabila, then came uh, Fasado, Old Tawny at the head of the others, then Sergris behind it Sly Sandra, next in uh, Fasado, well back then came a brilliant poet Catwoman, Starletto, Napier Street, Street Lady Bird and Manawanui last in bar one. Caveside Cannibal. Two Brave Chiefs, seven eighty, three dollars Five Kabila, four twenty. Eleven Defence Force at $2.40. On the super tab there, number two, Brave Chief to return, seven twenty two seventy five Kabila, three ninety and eleven for third Defence Force to pay two forty. Daily Double Melbourne, combination three and two, should pay one hundred and one seventy. Finishing off that Perth market for you, Ray. Brown attendant holding Melora steady. Right, they're racing in the... They're racing in the Tattersall's Cup and Melora began nicely. One of the first out, Iron Horse and Lahar going up into a prominent position. Sky Triss going forward in the early part. One man out close to the rails and close to the pace as they go to the turn out of the straight. Gypsy's daughter caught a little wide with reputed groom, Ancient City Simone. Believer getting back with Luther out, Triomphe. Mr. Forever's well back in the field and Bold Dan immediately drops out last. They're racing in lines of four as they go to the 1800. Gypsy's daughter giving a dig in the ribs, goes forward on the outside and she takes up the running now. It's Gypsy's daughter leading by two lengths. Sky Trist is running second. Melora settling third over on the inside. Reputed groom going forward. He's off the track but surging up towards the leaders. Followed by Lahar and picking up ground. Mr. Forever on the outside. One to Ancient City Iron Horse out. Triumph over on the inside. One man out. A length further back to Luther than Simone Believer and Boldan last of all. Gypsy's daughter, the leader, 1400 metres out, leads by three quarters of an length. 
Into second, Bertha's reputed groom and out Triumph striding up to make it a line of three. Dittman's going to go to the lead now on reputed groom. And at the 12.50, it's reputed groom going to the front, leading by a length on Gypsy's daughter, out Triumph, Lahar and Sky Trist. They're all in a bunch. Followed by Mr. Forever, Melora. She's uh, sitting there in about seventh berth at the moment. One away from the rails on the outside of one man out. A length further back to Ancient City, one to Iron Horse, then Luther, Simone, Bold, Dan, and Believer still last of all. Reputed groom's in front as they come down the side, 8.50 metres to go. Reputed groom by a neck on Gypsy's daughter. One away third is Lahar. Out Triumph has never been on the track. He's still wide. Sky Trist is next in the middle. Melora tracking the speed. She's coming into the race now. Followed by Mr. Forever Ancient City. One man out. One to Iron Horse and then Simonade Luther. Well back Bold Dan and Believers. Last of all look at them pack as they race onto the home turn in the Tattersall's Cup. Reputed groom and Gypsy's daughter. Gypsy's daughter went through on the inside to poke a nose in front. Just behind them Lahar. She's coming to the outside. So is Melora. Sky Trist is next one man out swinging back to the inside with Simone. Plenty of chances. 3.50 metres left to go. Lahar dashed up on the outside, hit the lead. Melora chasing her. Reputed Groom is still there. Mr. Forever, one man out running on. Lahar's in front. Reputed Groom's kicking again. Melora struggling to get to them. One man out coming up on the inside. Lahar's just in front of Reputed Groom. Reputed Groom's kicking again. Lahar, Reputed Groom. They're going to the line. Locked together. They hit it. Photo. Reputed Groom or Lahar in a beauty. Third in, one man out, followed in by Melora Believer, Iron Horse, Sky Trist. Next in was Mr. Forever, then Luther, Ancient City. Out Triumph, Simone, well back with Gypsy's daughter and Bold Dan, one of the last home. A photo, eight reputed grooms, 7.30, for La Half, five thirty, two dollars and six, one man out at $5.20. Number eight reputed grooms, 7.40, 2.30, or for La Half, five ten to even, six for third, one man out, $4.60. Triple S F M, and uh, let's replay the uh, Greyhounds event. They're racing, good line bar. Get a pick. And off. Bill Reeve now at 9.90, and I think you got one down the bottom there in the market, and that is uh, Midnight Sun now into 8.30 at 18 Smee again. Let's have a look at Mowbray that will follow. My dear Watson 19, Caterpillar 8.30, 17 another Sadie, Dinkum Jack at 6.80, and Bell Singh at 8.70. Glamour Boy 30, Alochi at 810, Irish Reaction 670, Lunga River 28, 31 for Tatiba. Uh, then 37 Best of Nime, 29 Reds Way, 510 Serious Thoughts, 18 Softly uh, Michael. And Tips 8713. Now Victoria Park, they are just about set for the John D. Lee Stakes as we take you back to Ron Paps. This is on the outer track, the John D. Lee, a journey of 1,800 metres. Set for a start. And they're racing this time. Blue Sun wobbled out of the stalls behind them. I'm missing one. Lady Shaviro, she's, uh, she's stayed in the stalls, it seems, and she's missed it by about eight lengths or so, perhaps more. And as they sort themselves out, one of the best out atomic comment to lead Noisy Prospect. There goes Gold Crystal to third. In behind them, Fireball working into the action. Atomic Comet is with it, and so too was Midnight Sun. They were followed back on the inside by uh, Belle Reeve, and next over on the outside, there's another one just obscured for the moment. Um, that horse is uh, still obscured for the moment. Further back behind those came Prince LaRue. They were followed then by Smee again on the inside is Blue Sun as they start to move along the far side. Lady Shaviro's picked the field up and last of all now is Bohemoth. So they go along the side on the outer track and the leader was Atomic Comment by a half. Noisy Prospect second. In third position Gold Crystal on the inside. Archer Street the outer. Two and a half away Midnight Sun outside Fireball. They were followed by back in behind those then came Mighty Meccano. Bell Reavers on the inside and around the outside Prince LaRue improving sharply. Further back Lady Shaviro, but it's facing a far, big task after missing the kick very badly. Blue Sun on her inside and two and a half to Smee again and one and a half away then to Behemoth. Noisy Prospect goes after Atomic Comet and they've kicked well clear. They're four in front of further back Gold Crystal. Now Fireball eases to the outside of her. They were followed by Bell Reeve running home along the inside and further back then came Midnight Sun and Prince LaRue. Bell Reeve angling for a split between horses is charging into it. Fireball down the outside's taken the lead. Bell Reeve is coming after it. 
Fireball the leader, Bell Reeve second, further back behind them, Gold Crystal. Fireball got a length and a half in front. Bell Reeve is plugging on gamely. Fireball is very tired, so is Bell Reeve, so are the others, and Fireball's going to be too good. He's coming away. Bell Reeve's run a huge race, but it's Fireball by two and a half to Bell Reeve. Five or six away third was Noisy Prospect, Gold Crystal. They were followed then by Atomic Comet back in the field behind them. Then came over on the outside Prince LaRue. Now coming out deep on the track there is Behemoth. Now waiting for them to come back into my view. We had Blue Sun and Archer Street back in the field. And also back there too was Lady Shaviro. And Smee again was uh, passing a couple over the line but never really got into the race today. So the John D. Lee stakes to Fireball. He really travelled in the run. He'll always look the winner there. And... And off they go. Miss Kent, she came out very quickly this afternoon and leads narrowly, but Trico's giving her a run for a money early. And Havoc likewise on the inside. Brilliance back to fourth. Then Bally Cash, followed by Pitch Black. Retruce and Absolute is splendid retreat. Havoc will lead now. And as they race past the 900, Havoc about a half to three quarters. Trico. Miss Kent third. Brilliance wider out fourth. Pitch Black fifth on the inside. Then Bally Cash. And about four to splendid retreat in company with Retruce. 700 metres left to go. Not a lot of change in the order. And the Woodland Stud representative Havoc is the leader, a half length on the hot pot Trico. Miss Kent a length behind them, third and travelling fourth pitch black, and then a gap to Bally Cash. Brilliance has lost its posse, about two lengths splendid retreat in company with Retruce around the corner. And Elaine Maloney giving the favourite Trico more rain. She almost joins Havoc. Miss Kent is wider out, and pitch black is on the inside to Bally Cash, and then Brilliance. Miss Kent raced up to Havoc. Trico starting to struggle, and then pitch black on the inside, but Miss Kent, this honest young horse leads the way. Havoc second. Trico can't do any better. Havoc's coming again. Miss Kent, Havoc. Havoc on the inside. Miss Kent. The heads are up and down. Havoc and Miss Kent to the line. Locked together. Dead heats. Miss Kent and Havoc. By gee, she's close. Pitch black third. Then splendid retreat with Trico. Followed on the end of a belly cash. Brilliance. An absolute in the field was Retruce. This is tight. Number five, Miss Kent, 5.31.80, or three, Havoc, 4.81.70, 11 for third pitch, black to pay 2.20. They have raced at the Greyhounds replay in a moment. Back to Ian. So she'd beat off Havoc, but he, the three-year-old gelding, fought back, and this is a Bobby Dazzler as they go down to the line. Miss Kent on the outside, on the freeze frame, looking to just beat Havoc. So if that freeze is right... It'll get there, and the freeze is right. Miss Kent is the winner. Number five, Miss Kent is first. Len Beasley at $5.50 the win, $1.70 the place. Number three, Havoc has paid $1.80. And number 11, Pitch Black, $2.00, $11.40 Quinella, $21.30 exacta, $162.20 was the trifecta. Thinking away, just waiting for the all clearers. Ready now, and they're off and racing. Slow Brother Thaddeus, also drifting back Spectacular Golden Del Blazer. Swill Can Burn, one of the best away. Lady Julie showing early toe. Rod also up there in the middle. Tulls Hunt to fourth, but wide. Alioka Star pushing through in the all white. Then Del Blazer drifting back a bit. Dance Wizard over on the inside. Now passed by Scotty Squire. Second last Spectacular Gold. Three lengths to Brother Thaddeus. The Grey Filly in front as they head down the side, and that's Lady Julie. She leads by a half a length to Swill Can Burn, who pushes through on the rails. A length away, Rort running third. Tulls Hunt going up wide. Then came Del Blazer on the inside of Alioka Star, Scotty Squire, then Spectacular Gold, Brother Thaddeus, and Dance Wizard struggling two lengths away. Lady Julie the leader with about 400 to go, about a neck in front of Swill Can Burn, who has the inside advantage. Tolls Hunt ridden along three deep, Alioka Star winding up, and then came Rort Spectacular Golds, made up ground, and so too is Brother Thaddeus. Rounding the turn, Lady Julie just in front. There's a run now for Rort, who sticks to the rails and gets through. But Lady Julie led Tolls Hunt the outside, Rort the rails, and then Brother Thaddeus. Thaddeus running on well. Tolls Hunt going.
going up to Lady Julie, Rort the inside, Brother Thaddeus wide, Tulls Hunt and Rort, Rort and Tulls Hunt wider, Brother Thaddeus, but Tulls Hunt, Tulls Hunt's just beaten Rort, and a big run from the third place, Brother Thaddeus, who missed the start, made up many lengths, Lady Julie weakened, then Elioka Star, Spectacular Gold, next time Swilkin Burn, then Dance Wizard, well back was Scotty Squire, and with it Del Blazer. Could go to the last, Tulls Hunt, who was camped right behind them, was there to challenge and really toughed it out. Rort got the run on the rails. And with 50 to go, it could well have gone either way. And Brother Thaddeus, who walked out of the gates and was a clear last of the 800, has weaved a passage through the pack to run on strongly and hasn't been beaten all that far. Number seven is first. Tolls Hunt, Darren Gauchy, unlucky at Morfordville last run. And uh, although travelling a little wide through the run, was able to finish just too strongly for Rort. And down and out, he back he comes like great champions. They're set. The gates open, and they're off in the last event of the day. Retirement and Spirit of Oregon, the two first to go. Blue Rest Beyond began quickly, and Roulette was well away, and Maltese Beauty's not going to be far away when they hit the ground in front of Forgotten Hero and Burrito. Dynamic Blaze about midfield around Champagne Spring, and there too, Satsky. Now, Prince Arkeem's back worse than the middle of the field, but he's off the fence with a good cart along. Then Bass Straight, Sharon, Prince Del Derby, Freedom Road, and last of all is Bedina Road. Up to the top corner, they go through the sun at the 1100 metres mark, and Maltese Beauty, the leader, a neck in front of Retirement, and Satsky, and Blue Espion, it is up racing third. Spirit of Oregon is fourth on the inside. Roulette's in a very close fifth position as they come down the side, and they're close to be followed by Burrito, which is racing on the outside, then of Satsky. Another length and a half in front there of Dynamic Blaze. Prince Arkeem going forward. Further back on the field, Bass Strait, Prince Del Derby, Sharon, Champagne, Spring, Freedom Road, and last of all is Bet on the Road and Forgotten Heroes running about sixth. Coming up to the home turn, 500 metres to go. Maltese Beauty, just the leader from retirement. Blue Espion went up quickly. Spirit of Oregon and Satsky stayed on the fence. through. Let's getting through. Forgotten Hero, pull of the the outside and here's Prince Arkeem and Sharon's on the extreme outside and he's coming very quickly. 2.50 to go, Forgotten Hero is the leader but Sharon's the big danger. Prince Arkeem is struggling now. Sharon went to the lead of the 100 metres mark. Prince Arkeem about to get the second. Forgotten Hero battling hard but Sharon broke away close to home and Sharon went home to beat Forgotten Hero and it's tight for third between Freedom Road and Bass Strait and Prince Arkeem not far away but he died the last bit. Then Blue Rest Beyond Roulette, Maltese Beauty, Dynamic Blaze never got in it. Then Burrito, Prince Del Derby, Satsky, Bet on the Road, Spirit of Oregon, Retirement. And last time was Champagne Spring. Sharon and Jimmy Cassidy wins the last. Came from a mile back. He found the right way to go, didn't he, Cassidy, today? He did it on Bonanova. Um, he tried to do it on Blue Storm, but she just wasn't up to it. And he did it on this horse. He, he got to the right spot. You can see him there saying, yeah, I found the right spot to go today. He did. So Mick Dipman and Jimmy Cassidy, two wins here today. Cassidy pulling the whip in the right hand and driving this horse away. Sharon uh, continue the great run for Bruce Marsh at this winter racing carnival. He's been a little bit out of sorts, Brucey, in the last couple of years. He's been coming here for a long time with success, but he's got the right horses this time. And this horse went home to win and win well. And Chiron with Jay Cassidy getting home in the last, giving Jimmy a double, and a defeats uh, Forgotten Hero pretty close there for third after the running of the last at Eagle Farm. Toowoomba's three minutes away, and here it's Bally's Pick 670, White Gown 415, Rose of Gladfield 470 with Bosaw 15, Respect the Flush six, uh, 360, Arctic Lance 785, How's That 33, Just Potch 16, and Mighty Rush at 61. And the favourite, Respect the Flush, there. Now 16, got third. Wow. So 8, 3 and 16 it is after the running of the last at Eagle Farm. What might have been. OK, we'll take a break. Be back with more right after this on Sky Race Day.